Do you want to know how to negotiate a lower interest rate on your credit card? Today, we'll delve into the world of credit card interest rates and explore why they're so crucial. High interest rates can be a real roadblock when trying to clear credit card debt, making it a seemingly endless cycle. But fear not, there are ways to navigate this financial obstacle course. Stick around to discover practical and effective tips on how to negotiate a lower interest rate on your credit card. Understanding your credit card interest rate is the first step towards lowering it. So what exactly is a credit card interest rate? It's the price you pay for borrowing money through your credit card. The rate is typically expressed as an annual percentage rate or APR. Every card has a different rate and it's determined based on several factors such as your credit worthiness and the prime rate. The prime rate is the interest rate that banks charge their most credit worthy customers and it's often used as a benchmark in calculating the APR for credit cards. Here's why it's crucial to know your current interest rate. It's the key to understanding how much your debt is costing you. The higher your interest rate, the more money you'll end up paying back over time. Remember, knowledge is power. Knowing your interest rate is your ammunition when negotiating for a lower rate. A good credit score can be your best ally in negotiating a lower interest rate. Now, you might wonder, why so? Well, your credit score is like a financial report card. It tells lenders how reliable you are when it comes to repaying your debts. The higher your score, the more trustworthy you appear, and this trust can translate into lower interest rates on your credit card. So, how can you boost your credit score? There are a few key strategies. First, always pay your bills on time. Late or missed payments can significantly damage your score. Second, try to keep your credit card balances low. A lower credit utilization ratio, which is the amount you owe compared to your credit limit, is better for your score. Lastly, avoid opening too many new credit accounts in a short time. This can be seen as risky behavior by lenders. A good credit score can open the door to lower interest rates, so it's worth the effort to improve it. Knowledge is power, and this is especially true when it comes to negotiating credit card interest rates. When you're looking to negotiate a lower rate, one of the most effective tools in your arsenal is thorough research of competing credit card offers. This might feel like homework, but it's well worth your time. Start by exploring different credit card companies and the kinds of interest rates they offer. You don't have to limit yourself to the big name players. Smaller companies can sometimes offer competitive rates too. While you're at it, don't just focus on the rate itself. Look at the whole package any associated fees, reward programs, and other perks that might be part of the deal. The more you know about what's out there, the better equipped you'll be to negotiate. You can use this information as a leverage, pointing out that you could easily switch to a card with a better rate. Armed with information about what other credit card companies offer, you can make a strong case for a lower interest rate. Now that you're armed with knowledge, it's time to make the call to your credit card company. The journey to a reduced interest rate starts with a simple yet critical conversation. So let's dive into the step-by-step -step guide on how to approach this call. First and foremost, ensure you're in the right frame of mind. You want to sound confident, not confrontational. Politeness is key here. Remember, you're asking for a favor, not making a demand. You're more likely to have a successful negotiation if you approach it with a positive attitude. Next, gather all necessary documents and data. Have your card details, your credit score, and any competing offers at your fingertips. You want to be prepared to make your case convincingly and factually. Now, it's time to dial that number. When you reach a representative, start by expressing your loyalty to the company. Mention how long you've been a customer and, if applicable, how you've consistently made payments on time. This sets a positive tone and shows that you're a reliable customer. Moving on, clearly state your issue. Explain that you've been reviewing your finances and have found your current interest rate to be a burden. But remember, don't sound desperate. Instead, 
Express your desire for a more manageable rate that will allow you to continue being a responsible cardholder. After presenting your case, it's time to bring up your research. Mention any competing offers you've found. This demonstrates that you've done your homework and that you have options. However, emphasize that you'd prefer to stay with them if they can match or beat these offers. Lastly, be persistent. If the first representative can't help, politely ask to speak to a supervisor or someone who has the authority to change your rate. Remember, the goal is to persuade, not to demand. Be patient and persistent. Negotiating a lower credit card interest rate is not an overnight process. It may take several calls and a lot of patience, but the potential savings make it worth the effort. After your call, it's time to evaluate the outcome. You've made your case, presented your research, and now it's time to assess the results. There are a few potential outcomes to consider. First, you might have successfully negotiated a lower interest rate. Congratulations! You've just made a savvy financial move that can save you a substantial amount of money over time. Keep an eye on your credit card statements to ensure the new rate is applied correctly. Second, you may have been offered a temporary interest rate reduction. While not as ideal as a permanent rate cut, it's still a win. Use this time to pay down as much of your balance as you can. Third, you may have been denied a rate reduction outright. This can be frustrating, but don't be disheartened. The credit card world is vast and competitive. You can always try again with your current issuer or consider switching to a different card with a lower rate. Remember, this negotiation process isn't a one-and-done deal. It might take a few calls, a bit of persistence, and perhaps even some rejection. But don't let that deter you. The potential savings are well worth the effort. In each of these scenarios, the key is to stay proactive and persistent. If you don't get the result you want on the first try, don't be discouraged. Persistence is key. Negotiating a lower interest rate on your credit card is not an impossible task. It's essential to remember this as we conclude our journey into the world of credit card interest rates. We've covered quite a bit of ground today. First, we delved into understanding your credit card interest rate. It's more than just a percentage on a piece of paper. It's a key factor that determines how much your borrowed money will cost you. The higher the rate, the more you'll pay in the long run. Then we looked at the importance of a good credit score. Remember, your credit score is like your financial report card. It tells lenders how responsible you've been with your credit. A solid credit score can be your ticket to negotiating a lower interest rate. So, keep making those payments on time, limit new credit applications, and keep your debt levels low. Next, we explored the power of research. There are countless credit card offers out there and knowing what's available can give you the upper hand when negotiating. Don't be afraid to use these competing offers as leverage. Then came the moment of truth. Making the call. It can be a little nerve-wracking, but remember you're in control. Be clear, persistent and ready to make your case. Finally, we talked about evaluating the outcome. Whether your negotiation was successful or not, it's a learning experience. If you didn't get the rate reduction you wanted, don't get disheartened. Keep improving your credit score and try again in a few months. Remember, a lower interest rate can save you a lot of money in the long run, so don't hesitate to negotiate. It's your money, your credit, and you have the power to make it work better for you. And as we wrap up, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our video to help others save money too, because knowledge is most powerful when it's shared. Until next time, keep saving and keep learning.